there, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make this buckle card. This is a really easy, fun fold card. I'm going to give you the measurements and show you how to put it together. This is one of three cards in my June 2019 Stamp of the Month Club. The featured set this month is Sailing Home, a brand new stamp set from the 2019-2020 annual catalog. When you participate in my club, you get the stamp set as well as a card kit to make three different cards. You'll get pre-cut materials to make two of each card. You'll get two for the buckle card, two for this clean and simple sailboat card, and then two for this extended flap gatefold card. This card uses the high seas embossing folder as well as some of the smooth sailing dies and the navy and Sahara sand twine that are all part of the Come Sail Away suite. Today I'm going to show you how to make this card and share the measurements. My card kits come pre-packaged in cello bags like this. When you get the Stamp of the Month Club kit, you'll get two for each of these pieces so that you can make two of the cards. Let me share the measurements with you so that you can remake this card at home. The Sahara Sand piece is four and a quarter by nine and three quarters. It's a little bit shorter than normal and I scored it at five and a half inches. The Knight of Navy buckle piece is two inches by five and a half inches, scored at one and a half inch. Then there's two pieces of Whisper White. For the inside, we have a piece that's four inches by three and a half inches, and then a second piece that's three and a quarter, I'm sorry, one and three quarters by two and three quarters. The designer paper is one and a half by four inches. We're going to do some really simple stamping on this card, but before we do that, we're going to use punches. We're using two punches today. The first one is the classic label punch. This is going to punch the hole for the buckle to go into. I'm going to put it all the way on the short side of my cardstock, about a half an inch from the bottom of the cardstock, and that's going to create the hole for my buckle. Then I have the Taylor Tag Punch, and this is just going to create a decorative end on my cardstock for the buckle part. I don't want to put it in this way. This would be making a banner cut, so I'm going to stick it in from the inside, just one end of the cardstock. You'll notice the rest of the cardstock is sticking out and is not inside the punch. I'm going to give it a little punch once I've got it centered. And that just gives me a decorative edge. This is kind of like the new nested label die, that same sort of pointed end. And that's going to fit inside the buckle slot like this. Now with your card, you can either wrap this piece around the back of the card, or you can put it on the inside of the card and cover it with the designer paper. This is what it would look like if you put it on the back. You'd, you'd see that piece of cardstock, and here on this version, it's tucked underneath the designer paper. And you can see it a little bit right here, but otherwise the rest is covered up by the paper. So we're going to go ahead and put a little tear and tape on the back of this. And I like to use the tear and tape just because this has a little... Uh, a few moving parts so we just want to make sure that it stays put and doesn't come off uh, before we put that on let's go ahead and do our simple stamping we're using some of these stamps from the sailing away set we're going to stamp with knight of navy ink just to the side of the, the buckle hole and then add some seagulls and then we're going to stamp on the white pieces the sentiment we're using says, let hope be your anchor through the storms of life. So we're going to stamp that on one side, and then we're going to get out the Sahara sand ink for the anchor. Okay, I want to stamp off, I'm going to stamp on the inside piece, and then without re-inking, I'm going to stamp on the buckle piece. This just gives a lighter version of the color so that it doesn't overwhelm the sentiment. We are ready to put our card together. I'm going to use snail adhesive to add the pieces on the inside. And then before we add the designer paper, we're going to take the tear tape off the buckle. We're going to line it up in the hole and then put it down at the very edge of the cardstock. And then that will get covered up with the designer paper. A 
almost done. We're just going to put the buckle in the card and then add the piece on the front. That's it. Quick and easy, super simple. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the buckle card and that you'll give it a try at home. Thanks so much for watching. Happy stamping.